so good afternoon again i hope that you are all fine so as you can see today we are going to deal with a new lesson which concerns passive voice so passive voice is a lesson which is used in every spoken in every activity okay so I'm going to explain it and to make it as easy as possible okay now we gotta start so look at here this is a form of a sentence we have the subject Rashid the action or the verb is answers and the object is Sarah's question. So Rashid answers Sarah's questions. So here, if you want to uh, to ask a question to know about the object, it's easy. We say, "What does Rashid answer?" And the answer is Sarah's question. Okay. For that, in the passive form, we say Sarah's question. Is answered by Rashid but how have we made it okay now we're going to study it step by step look here another example active when we talk about the active we say what subject does so the subject here is the baker the verb is makes he makes what or the action he makes bread so the passive focuses on or the focus of passive is on the action and we say bread is made by the baker okay so just to make a rule of the passive form it is the object plus the verb to be conjugated as the main verb so here because make is in the present so to be is going automatically to be in the present in each tense in each tense to be must be conjugated okay and we say bread is made by the baker so who made the, the bread is the baker another example the boy invites the girl to the party so here the subject is the boy the action invites invites who is the girl so we say sorry we say the girl is invited to the party by whom by the boy the secretary answers the phone calls so what does the secretary do she answers what the phone calls and we say phone calls are answered by the secretary she applies lipstick she applies lipstick and we say lipstick is applied and here we don't say by why because she is unknown okay quelque chose qui est pas connu we don't know who is she it is not a proper noun the kid feeds the hands the kid feeds the hands what does the kid do he feeds who what the hands so we say hands are fed by the kid as you can see here we have the subject verb and the object and in the passive we have the object plus the verb to be plus the past participle of the verb okay here again sarah garnishes the cake and we say the cake is garnished by sarah jerry kicks tom and we say tom is kicked by jerry he makes puppets and we say puppets are, ma are made and here we don't know who is this person we can say we can say either to say by him or not okay Maya navigates the ship and we say 
the ship is navigated by Maya. Okay, so I hope it is clear now for you. Okay, waiting to give you other exercises, inshallah. I hope that you uh, that I have made it as easy as it's possible. Thank you.